So, what does a UI framework do for you? Imagine a typical dynamic web application with user interactions and asynchronous updates coming from a backend server. Let's say numerical data is shown in two forms, a graph and a chart. When the data is fetched from the database, it must flow to these two components. If the chart component lets the user update the data, besides storing it in the database, the graph must be updated with that new data. This creates a dependency between the two components, or at least there must be function calls up and down and around the component hierarchy to keep things in sync. So let's say you have a setting that changes your application's behavior from simple to expert, with the expert setting showing more advanced options. Some components might honor the two modes, while other simple ones don't. When the user changes that option, all the components that have two modes need to be notified and they need to redraw themselves. If you're coding all this logic explicitly, a good starting architecture can help, but as the UI grows, there are more and more interactions to consider, and a change to one module may require changes to a lot of other modules. So, um, going to a very conceptual level, here are two equations that formally express a functional approach to UI development. The first equation formalizes how updates and events are applied to the state. This equation means that the next state of the application is a function of the current state and an event or action. The event could be an update from the backend server or an interaction with the user, a timer event, uh, whatever. The function in this equation R contains the logic that applies the event to the state to create a new state. Not really that earth shattering, but there's a benefit to putting all state update, update logic in a central place. This equation also implies that updates are serialized, so each update is applied to a consistent state. The next equation describes how the UI is created from a given state. This equation means that given the current state, the function f returns the complete UI. In practice, the UI is a hierarchy of components where each component is a function or template that takes some properties and state as input and returns the UI. The whole UI is a composition of such functions. For web pages, these component functions build and return DOM nodes or something equivalent to that. If you put the state and UI functions together, you get this, uh, working from the inside out. This is saying that the current state in an event are applied by function R to create a new state. That state is then applied to function F, resulting in the complete UI. Applying this equation to every event will drive your application forward in time. This may seem very theoretical, but any framework that allows you to build your UI this way solves the problem of the dependencies mentioned earlier. When something happens, you only worry about updating the state to reflect the effect of that event, and the framework takes care of updating all required parts of the UI.